In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that, that we, we may be made be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through this same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, save me by your name. By your holy power defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer. Give ear to the words of my mouth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O love, your mercy. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book said among themselves, thinking not aright, let us beset the just one because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for our transgressions of the law and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us he is the censure of our thoughts, merely to see him is a hardship for us, because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from these, from things impure. He casts blessed the destiny of the just, and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hands of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were the, their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them. They, will, they knew not the hidden counsels of God, neither did they count on the recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit He saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers, all the Lord delivers to him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. 
The Lord redeems the, the lives of His servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in Him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live by bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, you, sh you know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you, sent, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Bonaventure once said, he said, share the company of good people. If you share their company, you will also share their virtue. And our first reading from the Book of Wisdom, it's a very interesting one where you just imagine this group of people who are rather wicked, according to the scripture. And instead of um, this group of people who have just inducted this new member, instead of this group allowing this new person who actually has virtue, who has just joined the group to elevate them and make them better, they try instead to tear him down. And um, uh, that's, of course, we have, it foreshadows what happens ultimately with Christ, right? That Christ comes and and he joins this, uh, you know, the, the friendship of the apostles, the friendship of this group of men. And, and, and at first, instead of allowing this Christ to, to raise them up, they instead try to tear him down, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But like what, what I think our Lord is reminding us today is that the company we keep matters a lot. And if we keep good company, we become good. And if we keep bad company, we become bad very often. And our job, I think, is to keep good friends and to be a good friend, to be that type of person who brings out the best in others and also to surround ourselves with those who bring out the best in us and bring out our virtues, make us better, a positive kind of peer pressure, which I always think was the best thing about seminary was uh, those seminary days of, of being around uh, my brother seminarians who who brought out better parts of myself and who helped me to pray in new ways, who helped me to become virtuous in new ways. And it was just kind of this like positive force impelling us all to become better. And I do think that is what I, an ideal Christian community looks like. That's why we have the church and all the different groups that exist in the church is that surround we, the saints come in pairs and um, when you have a St. Francis, you have a St. Claire, you have a St. Benedict, you got a St. Scholastica, you got a Titus, you got a Timothy, you know, you got, they, we come together. And, um, and I think, folks, that's a good reminder from us today, or for us today from our Lord, that when there does seem to be somebody around us who, who is obnoxious to us because he or she is, 
is maybe kind of like reminding us of what we know we should be doing, but we really wouldn't want to hear it because we don't want to really do it, but we know we should be doing it. And this person is there like our little conscience and reminding us that listen to that person and, and allow that person to guide that we should allow that person to lift us up and to make us better. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just end with St. Bonaventure again. Share the company of good people. If you share their company, you will also share their virtue. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us bring our prayers to the good Lord. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his intention, safety, and health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our president and all who govern the lands of the world that they might always in, act and protect laws that afford life, dignity, and peace to everybody. We pray for them especially as they lead, um, lead the peoples of the world during this present pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all hospital workers, all who um, are working uh, nonstop and, and so selflessly these days. We ask that God might give them safety and protection and strength to serve God's people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for a generous increase in vocations to the priesthood and the religious life, especially from our own families and our own parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the grace to always do God's will, no matter the cost. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are in hospitals, in hospice care, homebound, those who are homeless and hungry, those who are without faith, without family and friends. We ask that God might grant them relief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in the world and in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray uh, in a special way today as we remember Friday, the day that our Lord gave his life for us, we pray um, that any lukewarm part of our um, church, any lukewarm parts in our own hearts, uh, might become on fire for the love of our Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the intention of this Mass, Helen Havens, and all who have gone before us in faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God and Father, we place these and all the prayers of our hearts before you. In your mercy and love, we ask you to answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. But mystery this water, why may we come to share the divinity of Christ from himself, to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit, contrary. me, O Lord, from my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so with glorif we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. I bring me judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me, protection of my dead body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ give me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ give me safe for eternal life. In Christ, we have redemption by his blood and forgiveness of our sins in accord with the riches of his grace. The body of Christ. Let us now pray the prayer of spiritual communion. Precious Jesus, although I greatly desire it, at this moment I am unable to receive you in the most holy Eucharist. Therefore I beseech thee, O Lord, to bestow upon me mystically all those graces I would otherwise receive. Fill me up until I am overflowing, so that I may in turn share those graces with the rest of the world. our lips as food, O Lord. May we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look upon your servants, O Lord, and in your goodness protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, a virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile. Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, 
Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray for us. Procent, per omnibus et singulus.